Hello to Adam and Jamie and to the rest of the Mythbusters crew. My name is Rob Rubin and I'd like to introduce you guys to a possible myth for use in Mythbusters. This one concerning the game or sport of paintball. I know you guys are very familiar with it, uh, Adam especially familiar with it, but some background information. My nickname is Tiger. I've co-written this book, yeah, and I've also been published in many magazines and so on. I've been involved in paintball for about 20 years. This is actually a double-sided myth uh, because both these things are so related that you really can not separate them easily. And they've been around as long as I've been involved in the sport. And it involves making this thing fly further and fly straighter. Over the years, people have claimed that just by changing this, you can make a paintball fly further. So to that end, they've tried this, which is a solid bore. They've tried one of these things that has a cool little flange tip at the end of it. They've tried making them out of alternate materials such as brass or you know, some other rare weird metals. They've gone to made barrels that have spiral venting on the ends of them, which will make them fly another 20 or 30 yards, so they claim. And they made them longer. Yeah. The other myth, and it also concerns the paintball barrels themselves, is that you can purchase a paintball barrel and you'll be getting more accuracy than any other barrel that's on the market. In fact, uh, some companies have claimed that if you purchase their barrel, it'll make your paint, it'll make your marker so accurate that you can hit a one-inch target at 200 feet. Okay, now consider that most of the time when you're playing paintball, you're not more than 150 feet away from the other guy. So if you can hit if you can hit a quarter or two hundred feet, awesome! There's only one problem with this, and uh, that is that I pretty much busted these myths myself. When I was doing the web dog shows, I used to do things like this all the time, and I busted about accuracy and I busted about range and basically blew holes through it like a piece of Swiss cheese. But people didn't want to believe it because I just bought this brand new barrel. It's got to be more accurate. It's got to have more range. It really doesn't. See, um, paintballs are all regulated to shoot at 300 feet per second or less, depending on the field. And Newton's Law specifically states that an object in motion, an object at rest, all that stuff, uh, basically it says that if you put the same amount of energy onto a, si a, a standard mass object, it's going to go a standard distance. Um, and that doesn't change if everybody's shooting the same type of paintball, which means that my 300 feet per second will fly just as far as your 300 feet per second. But they don't believe me. I, I think what it is is because I lack facial hair, so that may be what it is. So I would like to give this to you guys as the Mythbusters to either confirm or bust this myth once and for certain. Uh, if you guys want to, I'll even come out and help you guys do this because I've already been there and I've already done that. So yeah, and that'd be kind of fun to you know hang out with you guys and uh, shoot a paintball marker around Adam. That'd be kind of interesting. So I thank you very much for your time and hopefully for your consideration.